welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy Gayhol and most of you who have been following my videos here or on social media know I got a new tattoo about four days ago. I got it done at R... 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 <laughs> I got it done at Art Tattoo in Brussels. I got it done by the amazing Shea Winter, who happens to be one of the people I still know from my golf clubbing days. Anyways, let's just dig in to everything, cause gonna be a lot of rambling. Cassie, guys, you know me. Nothing scripted. No, 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 no. <laughs> Anyways, I saw this flash piece of Sheo and I've been following her since, uh, I don't know, 2015, 2016 maybe, when she was still doing her apprenticeship at La Machine Fury, Fury Machine something, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> and I saw this piece of flash back in February when she just posted it, yes, believe it or not, but I got my first piece of flash. I got it on my arm on this guy because I don't know which theme I wanted to go for. I got the stuff that are partly geeky such as this one. This is a Nana Osaki tattoo inspired by hers. I got my little Napster Bluke and this new one that I'm about to talk about. She posted this piece of flesh and I immediately fell in love with it. But sadly when I mailed her for it yeah, to get the appointment because she was doing some guesting at this place that is near me where I also got my toes done and this guy who used to be at the same yeah, salon as, yeah, as I always went to. And I only immediately fell in love as I said but I wasn't able to get the design and also the location was already fully booked and then yeah, so this was in February and then a few weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, so somewhere in March, she mailed me back saying like, hey, uh, we can still book your appointment. And I was like, yeah, great, because I don't live that far from from Brussels. So it is a Harry Potter piece or wizard, wizarding world in general. And I wanted to get something Harry Potter slash wizarding world, but not the obnoxious. Uh, Deadly hello sign because if you've seen the crimes of Grindelwald, you basically know it's a freaking spot sticker, and I don't want to get that on my body. <laughs> you know, just in general, I didn't want to get yeah something that just screams this is a Harry Potter or a wizarding wizarding world tattoo. So I'm pretty glad with this design. It also has a little castle on it, so Hogwarts, I'm just holding it like that, it is about to peel, so I'm sorry for the yucky feeling, looking thing. I'll just put a video of the thing I got. <laughs> it has the castle of Hogwarts, it has a accepting letter, acceptance letter, just a witchy hand and some flowers. I'm just looking at it like, what's on this again? <laughs> just a few flowers, I have no freaking idea which flowers they are, but Hey ho, I fell in love with it and I just think like it makes a lot of sense to me why I got this because I, one, I freaking love Harry Potter, I grew up with it, I think I was about nine years old when the movies came out, yeah, I even was Hermione for carnival at school when I was about 12, I've just been a Potterhead from a young age and this basically is I'm still a Potterhead, what can I say? Proud Hufflepuff. Even though I just took my test yesterday again and I'm forever the Ravenclaw ex Hufflepuff head soul. <laughs> Anyways, enough rambling. Just really love what's in this design it's everything i love because these little flowers represent my they represent my hufflepuffness because hufflepuffs are supposed to be good at herbology and he's got hogwarts i freaking love castles everywhere i go to whichever country i'm visiting i just have to visit one castle at least one castle so i really love that and i love the medieval era and these hands so the these little disembodied hands like where is where is the hand? Well, the, uh, I can't show it, but these disembodied hands were basically in the Victorian era a big thing and I just like weird things. I just like the Victorian era and just, I don't know, I just really fell in love with this piece, man, so I was like, I need to get this. Anyways, <laughs> about the tattooing itself. 
Shio is a vegan and therefore she also uses Hustler butter instead of petroleum jelly and out of all the tattoos I've gotten, I got this is my 17th one. I never had such a smooth healing the first 24 hours. I just got home, there was barely any swelling, it was barely red, it barely hurt. Sheo is a really soft-handed uh, tattoo artist, she's really sweet. We had some pretty amazing conversations, even though as a tattoo artist and a tattooee you aren't necessarily meant to talk the entire time. I mean, it's not a necessity to just click with your tattoo artist or vice versa, you know? But it's just awesome if you if you are able to do that, because the time we just flew by and before I knew it, my piece was done. Even though I got it done at my wrist era, I barely felt it either. I mean, big love to Sheo. I really love this piece. So if you want to get an appointment by Sheo, make sure to check her out and I will talk a little bit about the aftercare that I just do right now since I asked Shayo her preferences and she was like, yeah, you got so many tattoos, you know what to do and I was like, yeah, pretty much, but I still want to get your input and she has the same input as most of my tattoo artists that I had, so basically keep the foil on that you get so the saran wrap cling film kind of thingy just keep that on until you get home and you just wash it and I like to use this antibacterial soap by Dittle to wash it up this guy, yeah, I like using that even in the shower this is shower gel so this is really handy if you shower and you have a new tattoo to get the bacteria out of there <laughs> just give it a rinse with lukewarm water and just wash it and then just pat it dry with a brand new towel Nani? paper towel thingies and just make sure you're being super hygienic and don't reuse it I just like to let it dry for a little bit and then I would use this Polish stuff called Alantan Plus uh. it just really works well for me I don't know what is inside of these thingies but my former tattoo artist that I had for four years recommended this to me and it really works so hey ho but I think once this is empty I'm going to get Hustler butter as Shea uses instead of her petroleum jelly because it just really works for me and I like vegan stuff so yeah just need to yeah put the salve on it, the cream on it whenever it gets dry but I prefer the dry healing method so I don't hi doggo, my doggo is here again <laughs> Wanna say hi? Hi peoples! Oh, I'm back! Guess who's back? Back again! Kiro's back! Tell a friend! Love you! <laughs> okay, um, what was I telling? Yeah, I just rubbed this uh, cream on it whenever it gets dry, even though I preferred a dry healing method, so I won't smother it the entire time with cream, but it just works for me. So that is the first time I got a tattoo in a very visible place. Usually I would get it where my sleeves can cover it or on my pants or in my lip, just places no one can see really. But I really, really, really fell in love with these tattoo artists, even though we knew each other, like I said, but yeah, I just like her way of working and it's certainly not the last tattoo I'm getting by her, so you can expect way more tattoos by her in the future. I'm already discussing a new project which I want to get done for ages and she really seems to like my ideas. So once I get more yeah, ideas about the details and such, I'm gonna send her a mail of course with the details and yeah, I'm pretty curious what she'll make out of this. Yeah, I think that was about it. Um, I hope you guys liked this little video. Give it a big Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel. No, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. I'm so out of this. And of course, don't forget to click the little bell, bell notification bell, because YouTube sucks and doesn't always put my videos into your sub boxes. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. For something. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you another time. Bye, guys. In many, many ways. Hufflepuff is my favorite house. Hufflepuff, Huffle, Huffle, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, Huffle, Huffle, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, Huffle, Huffle, Hufflepuff. Turn around, stick it out, show the world you're a Hufflepuff, Huffle, Huffle, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, Huffle, Huffle, Hufflepuff.